For 120 years, the Australian Workers' Union has been fighting for working Australians. When they've been threatened, when they need support, we've stood up to governments, to big business, to giant overseas corporations. We've been there by their side. Because we believe that the workers of this country have made Australia what it is. That they deserve a fair go. That they have rights. And we will fight for those rights. Right now, those rights are under threat like never before. When I started in Old Coal, we had all the wages and conditions that, that the blokes before us had fought for, um, the strong super, you know, shift penalties, a whole lot. And uh, you know, it's our job to make sure we keep that for our kids as they come through to the workforce as well. These laws here really open it up for uh, bosses to um, get the upper hand on people, especially if they haven't got any idea what negotiations are about or what their rights and conditions are about. I think it's going to wreck a lot of families. And John Howard's no friend of Australian families. All the basic rights that any worker in this country has has been brought about by the union movement. Our wages and the standards of living that we have in this country, people look in envy of what we have. And it's been through a long, hard struggle. And with the new IR laws, they're just going to disappear. To be a young person coming out of school and going to negotiate with a boss would be very daunting. I mean, young kids, you know, they don't have a lot of life skills. To go in and try and argue with a boss would be very, very difficult to do, particularly with bosses who have got years and years of experience. The best thing about being a member of the AWU is that we all stand together. And I firmly believe that united we stand, divided we fall. I can see mate against mate. Two blokes doing the same job on different wages with AWAs. It's just going to make it a hell of a lot harder, you know. There won't be any mateship anymore. The first thing you've got to do is vote them out. And um, if you do really, the Australian public really need to have a look at the big picture of what's going on. Um, and yeah, they've got to get them out and uh, get the Labor Party in. At the end of the day, you know, I'm not prepared to sit back and take it. I don't think anyone should sit back. Consider just some of what is at stake in all this. Loss of unfair dismissal protection. Loss of award safety net. Take home pay can be cut the minimum wage will fall in value. Crack down on unions and collective bargaining. Breakdown of the industrial relations system. Erosion of workplace health and safety. No protection of penalty rates, holiday pay, shift penalties, annual leave. Heavy fines just for asking questions. The list goes on. It's a total shift in power, and it's the workers who will lose out. The Australian Workers' Union and its members and their families face the hardest challenges that we've seen in 120 years. John Howard and his government have brought in laws which make it very hard for people to get pay rises, to have secure jobs and to set up the sort of lives that most workers want to have for their families. What's happened in Australia ever since we were founded is that workers would hand on better conditions to the people who came after them, not worse. And we don't want to be the last generation of working families who hands on worse conditions to our kids, not better. We're seeing conditions like shift loadings, penalty rates, the right to be able to have a voice in the workplace, which 20 years ago would have been as safe as houses, being taken off us, ripped off us, by these unfair laws. Make no mistake at all. We are in for the fight of our lives. This year will decide if we can compete with the rest of the world, not by lower wages and insecure jobs and no hope, but by looking after people, making sure that when you go to work, you've got a well-paid, secure, safe job. So we have to make sure that everyone's enrolled to vote. We've got to make sure that those employers who want to cut corners use these new laws unfairly, that we will fight them with all our capacity, that we'll go one day longer than employers who want to take conditions off our members. And most importantly, we've got to make clear to Mr Howard at the next election and every day up till the next election that we aren't going to take this any longer.
there's no doubt the laws are an attack on unionism, and Blind Freddy can see that as well. It's, it's about trying to erode the rights of the, the, the uh, unions to represent their members. I think we're heading down the road of Americanisation, the way I look at it. I believe the only thing that the Australian people can do to stop this government is to vote them out at the next election. The government's work choice is there's no choice. It's either my way or the highway. time for Australians as a whole and the workforce and everybody to stand up because we're not going to take it anymore. Authorised by Bill Shorten for the Australian Workers' Union Melbourne. Spoken by B. Shorten, W. Ross, B. Noonan, W. Ray, D. Bryant and N. Stratford.